Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to represent whole numbers on a number line. So let's start with a simple example. Let's take a simple example. Let's say we want to graph a we want to graph 5 on the number line. Let's say we want to graph 5 on the number line. So what do we do? We draw the number line. We start from 0 and then indicate some uh, points on this number line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will go up till 6. I will put an arrow here indicating that the, the number line can continue on for a long period of time. So on, on this number line we want to indicate where 5 is occurring so therefore we, come, we count 5 from 0 and this is where we want to be and that is how we, we represent the the num the re represent the number five on the number line. That's a simple example. Let's take another example. Let's look at another example. Let's say we want to be able to determine uh, four units to the right of five. We want to determine where four. Let me write it down. Four units to the right side. To the right of number 5. On the number line we want to represent where 4 units to the right of 5 is. So what do we do? We start drawing the number line. We'll start with 0 and then we'll indicate some numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then the numbers are going on. Uh, the arrow indicates that we can represent more numbers. What we want to do here is we want to be able to represent um, the number 5 first. Let me get another color here. And then we want to move 4 units to the right of 5. What is 4 units from 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, four units. So from here if we put a line there and then draw a line like that and then if we wait to draw a line there five four units to the right of five is nine. So on a number line we can represent um, situations of this kind. If we want to move four units to the right of five four if we move four units to the right of five we're going we'll come up to a, a number called nine that's where we're going to stop. That is how we, we represent numbers on this number line. Let's take another example. Let's take another simple example. Let's say this time we want to identify a number on the number line and we want to represent a number to the left of it. Let's say we want to represent a number 5 units to the left of 8. Let me write this. 5 units, 5 units to the left side of the number 8. So we do the same thing. We draw the number line first. We'll draw the number line and we'll start with 0 and put some numbers on this number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If we need more numbers we can always pick them up. So let us put an arrow indicating that the numbers can be represented uh, more numbers can be represented as we go. But for now we want to be able to say we want to be uh, we want to then say we want to represent this particular problem. The problem here is we want to represent 5 units to the left of 8. We uh, represent 8 we identify 8, identify 8 on the number line and then we move 5 units to the left to the left moving towards we are moving towards the zero point so wh what is 5 units? we count 5 units from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so we draw a line and that is where when we move 5 units from 8 to the left of it where we are going to end up is is at a point where the number is indicating to us as 3. That is where we want to leave it. So, 
5 units to the left of 8 is 3. So this is how we represent numbers on a number line. This is how we represent numbers on the number line. In my next presentation, we shall see how to represent whole numbers using inequality symbols.